Hi everyone, I'm Universe98 and welcome back to One Shot. In the last episode I had to look through my files, not even my game files, but my actual files. And let's just say it was pretty tough. I did not know where to look and the computer mocked me for it. Son of a... Anyway... <laughs> I am back and let's hope that this time it will go much smoother. I I don't have anything else to say, so let's just get started. I'm back. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Am I the only one who's seeing this? Um yeah. I guess so. So let's just see. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using the alternative method discussing in the last chapter. Discussed in the last chapter. Utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Reagents, acidic gas, and blue phosphor rare form. Instructions. In a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. That's the end of the page. So, do I need to do something with that? I don't know how to do that though. But, let's see, I guess they cannot help me. Hello? Hello, person. The robot assembly and repair fur surfaces has been discontinued at the Barons. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. I have been there and he wasn't of much help. So, that's a shame. Let's see, the door is all boarded up. The boards seem loose though, I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Do I still have the crowbar? I do. So, let's use that. Good thing I kept this crowbar. What a workout. Okay, that is uh, a bit creepy. Oh, there's something on the ground. This seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Note, if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. The resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, Fabiana. Yeah. Um, maybe. A cleaning sponge with a rough surface. What do I do with that? I... I, I don't know. I have rubber gloves, but what do I do? Can't combine those. I don't know. But what do I do with the empty bottle? I might be able to seal the gas in there if I try. But I need something to shut it off, so... A bunch of robots without power. I guess the generator can only do so much. Yeah. But does this also mean that I need to go back to the head engineer? I I guess so. But there was also another robot in the area right here. Maybe he has something to say? I don't know. Um, hello? Say something. Say something. Say. He's really trying not to say anything to me. Okay, let's just go back outside, but no, 
not sure where to go now. So, that might be fun. Oh, there's a note! There's something weird about the robots who is sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at a much slower rate than the others. The few who work directly with gas harvesting look practically new. Is that a result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? So I guess I need to... Um, what is it to seal the gas within the bottle that I have? Again, I need something to shut it tight. But I don't know with what. The heck? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hmm? A living person such as yourself should have evacuated this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. To this world, I mean. See, I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I do not know what to say. Greeting you was not part of my programming. Have you spoken to the prophet bot? I think so, yeah. Prophet bot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least not with these. Oh, that's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. Oh, man. Uh, then I'll be going. Oh look, a building. And another piece of paper. Looks like they're evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense, no point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. No, I'm pretty sure he was still here. Apparently, phase one of the evacuation ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they meant by that. Bummer, looks like they won't be able to transport most of the surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough with transporting people as it is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Okay. There's another one here. Lots of tiny shrimp swimming in this jar. It's looking a little dim. It's a power cell, I think. There's writing on this one too. It says guardian, guardian of the residential area. Okay. Can I go up here? Uh, I'm scared of letters. Of course. Great. But can I maybe use something? No, come on. Yeah. Go down. Please. I'm scared of letters. I I do not believe that there's anything that I can. No. Okay. So Let's get back out. I don't know what to do. Well, I'm not sure. Oh! Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. Oh, that was the big robot. Okay. 
I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? So I guess I have a buddy now? <laughs> okay, cool. So... Where do I go next? Here? Oh, no, get in. Wow. Let's see. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the surface continues to fill so much that maintenance cannot keep up with the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. Great, can you tell me something? Checking, checking. Terminal does not respond. This is a problem. Uh, yeah, it sure is, I guess. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to do now. Great. So let's get out again. I... Again, I'm not sure where to go. But there's another building. Great. And... What's this? A picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Fabienne. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Uh... Yeah? Or... I like that one. Hey Nico, do a robot voice. <laughs> what? Try talking like a robot. Um... <laughs> Beep boop. I... I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. Oh. I Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Fabiana, you made me look silly. I am enjoying this so much. But can I talk to that robot again or not? Hi. Hello. Hi! What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Um. Okay. Bye. Uh, is there another building around here? Or there sure is. I haven't checked up in this area, but... I'll be there soon. Hey sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon, love mom. Aww. Yeah, oh indeed. So I guess that's one of the humans that used to live there. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them into the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. Uh, is there another robot up here? Nope. I'm scared of letters. Yeah, I know that. No. Anyway, I... I guess I'll just keep going to the left. And... Hey. 
Reporting for duty. It seems that you already have been assigned escort unit. Blah blah blah. Would you like me to leave? You can follow me if you want. Understood. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. So, okay. But they don't follow me into the buildings. This, that's pretty weird. Evacuation at such short notice. I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Okay. That sucks. Some sort of mechanical drawing. I cannot do much with that. Oh, no. a robot, it's beyond repair. And let me guess. Scared of letters? Scared of letters. But, oh, what's that? Is this a hospital? Infirmary. Close enough. <laughs> Person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected? None. Treatment required? None. You are good to go. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Well, at least nothing's wrong. It's a box of medical tools. Some of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. And what do I do with that? Where is it? Empty syringe. The needle is particularly long. I... okay. Hello person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? I'll carry on then. I... okay. Bye. Still not sure where to go. But at least there are a lot of buildings here. Have I already been here? Not sure. I remember being thought in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the boundaries of space. But at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. I wouldn't know. Tiny shrimp are swimming in this jar. Can I maybe use it on there? Nope, I can't. And scared of letters. Yeah. Okay. But I have a syringe now, so that's great. No, not going back. Oh, there's a path. And another note. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas fans caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barons. We found that there is not one but two such vent zones with fumes being pumped out at such high concentrations. It seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, we owe a lot to these little guys. Okay, so... 
There's nowhere else to go. Let's go back. And I'm so not sure what to do. This vent is on the ground. All the others are taller than me. Uh, oh, look at that. What's that? So, we're filling up the syringe, Fabiana? Oh, great! I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. So, now I only need to... Um... I only need to get you some of the gas into the bottle and I'm still not sure how to do that unless it's actually already uh, shut tight then I don't need anything else to do that the sky is dark that it is do you know when the sun will be back up we're working on it Aww. That's, that's actually a little bit sad. Oh, I don't know what else to say then. Oh, let's go back over here. Uh, I can't reach the top. Oh, so I need to get just some of the gas that was around there. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe so. I guess you want me to fill the bottle with this gas, Fabienne. I ought to do it. Okay, so... Bottle of smoke with the filled syringe. So I should inject the liquid through the cork, right Fabienne? It's... It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. Fountain the Barons. Oh. It's full of a thick liquid acid. Okay, so... It, if I'm not mistaken, we'll be going back to that one robot that's in the boat. So, if that's the case, I should be able to give him this, which should make him able to move again. Man, it's hard to maneuver around here. It really is. So, that robot is here. And I'm gonna give him the bottle of acid. I need something you can use to watch the robot with. Okay, the sponge. I'm guessing you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge? Yes, I do. Good thing I have these gloves. I hope this works. Uh, wet sponge. And then the robot. Alright, hold still. I have no other choice. That you do. There! How's that? I can move again. Thank you. Ah, He's cute. I like him. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the clan port number... My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It's not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Aww. Is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, I should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Okay. I'll be... I'm going to the head engineer then. Great. Oh well. The map is not too big so it's not that bad. 
Be right back. Excuse me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Alright. What is the issue? It said something about its navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. Fabian and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. Oh, that's pretty! Okay. That's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber I found from the Glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black clover? That's a common plant in our world. It's also... Yeah? <sighs> I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. That's... okay. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you. So... A, pl a piece of glowing amber with a black clover inside. So... May I be... Oh, no. I was not trying to do that. I can't combine those. It was worth trying. <laughs> but let's go. Oh. Okay. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah. Well, sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. Then will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. Are you going to play chess? You're really good at this. Ah, oh, thank you. It was built into my code. Ah, uh, yeah. Computers uh, and such thing as chess. It's pretty hard to beat them. So, what's it like? being a robot and all. I've talked to other robots and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming, it's complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? There goes my other bishop. Okay, <laughs> I'm losing. I can't really explain what tamed robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh? There goes my little horse. I'm losing. <laughs> Night. Right. Uh, oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I have heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now, because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying starts back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death it was just the tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh? Then there's nothing I can do. Check. What? 
Did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage in a way you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will, that things will work out. But checkmate, man. All right, I've kept. Oh, all right, guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Ah, thank you also. Okay. Um, I'll be going now. Bye. And back to the other side of the map. Hello, guess who is back? Oh, this is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking system. Wow, activating tracking system. Oh, <laughs> that always meant. Wow, never mind. Setting course. Wait, this boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and gloves. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. I hope we don't need the crowbar anymore. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, my. <laughs> that's really pretty. So, oh, would you look at that? Here is your stop, the, the glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes, I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I've not been tamed. Aww. Bye. Okay. So now we're here. I, I guess this is enough for today. Man, that was so interesting. I, I'm really glad that we actually got to a new area. It's about time. <laughs> I, I'm not so good at this kind of game, but hey, I like it, so I'll be playing it a lot more. And I hope you are enjoying it as much as I do. And I hope it's not boring to see me just goof all the time. Because let's just be honest, I goof a lot playing this game um anyway if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe for more and i will see you in the next video of whatever i make bye